everyone. Welcome to my nightmare. This week in the world of horror, we go over a few interesting tidbits coming to a theater or a screaming service near you. Now some of these may be in development, and some might be out already. And we can try to guess which ones will be good, and which ones will stink worse than a turd in the hot sun. So what do we have for them this time, Crypto? What am I, your nanny? We can warm things up with a little ditty called Alice in Terrorland that has piqued my interest. It's the classic story of Alice in Wonderland but tweaked into a horrifying tale where nothing is what it seems. It stars a recently bereaved teenage girl who goes to live with her aunt in a secluded woodland house, unaware that sinister forces lurk within. Is that vague enough for you? Sounds kind of cryptic, but that trailer looks like it's one of the turds. It does emanate turd vibes. Well, we'll see if the Mad Hatter or Queen of Hearts makes an appearance, or if they change things up. Well, one I'm looking forward to is Destroy All Neighbors. The protagonist is a brain-dead musician determined to compose his masterpiece of crap, but he gets serious writer's block living next door to his noisy neighbor Vlad, played by Alex Winter. No way! Yes, that Alex Winter from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, but now old. While shutting Vlad down, he does what any of us would like to do in that situation, and accidentally decapitates him. This leads to a spiral of accidental murders causing victims to pile up and come back in the form of undead corpses to torment him. This one looks like a lot of fun. Yes, it does look like a delightful romp in the sack. A trashy romp, but a romp nonetheless. And for those of you who actually read, we also have Whale Fall based on the 2023 horror novel from Daniel Krauts, which is getting its own big screen movie adaptation. In this one, a scuba diver is in search of his dead father's remains, which gets swallowed by an 80 foot, 60 ton sperm whale. It's a whale of a tail, but he only has one hour to escape before oxygen runs out. It's kind of like a reverse Pinocchio. You know, if Pinocchio was like a human and he wanted to get eaten by a whale, but minus a kitty cat and the goldfish and Geppetto. So basically, they're nothing alike. Exactly. Another up-and-comer is Monstrosity, with a family, much like our family of monsters, living in a nearby village. This family of misfits includes a werewolf, a vampire, a zombie, and Frankenstein's monster, all guarding a mine to keep the world safe from evil behind Hell's Gate. Oh, the plight of the monster. We're so misunderstood. Oh, cry me a river. The thought of bringing these has-beens back from the dead and into the 21st century is like trying to resurrect Justin Long's career. It's impossible. Yeah, they're a bunch of stiffs. Now, in the news, we also have the latest on your favorite horror soap opera, Scream. Scream 6 has now been released, but it's the first time without Nevi Campbell. What a hottie. Was a hottie. Nevi Campbell has played Sidney Prescott in every Scream film to date, but quit Scream 6 after saying she wasn't getting paid what she thought she deserved. It's also been announced that Jenna Ortega will not be returning to her role in Scream 7 due to scheduling conflicts. I think it's pronounced Nev. No, it's Neve! Like Nivea, you twit! You should use Nivea. Have you seen your face? Although a truckload of cream probably wouldn't make any difference. I'm going to kill somebody! And I think As always, you. please tell us in the comments which movies you're looking forward to seeing, or any upcoming movies that have caught your eye. I'm good if you go. have eyes, you'll rue the day. Look into my eyes. You want to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hey, that kind of rhymes. Like and subscribe. Oh.